Greetings, and welcome to episode 45, part two in a two-part series entitled Waking Up. Uh, it was only going to be one video, but yesterday at the end of the video I decided it was going to be a two-part because there's, there's much more to it. I was only getting into why you're asleep in the first place. Uh, now I'm going to get into uh, the benefits of being awake, but I would still like to expand on the why you're asleep part. All right. If we're ready, let's get started. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, back at it. <laughs> Part two of waking up. Uh, yeah. Waking up. We ended the yesterday's video, part one. We were talking about the ego and the importance of shedding the ego so you can wake up. Uh, finding it even the tiniest little bit of confidence within yourself to actually participate in your life. Because just because the body is up and ambulatory, doesn't necessarily mean you're awake. It just means your body is up and ambulatory. If your ego is out in front, you are asleep. You cannot have you and your ego active at the same time. That is to say, the moment you become aware and you become active at the same time as your ego, it's like you're trying to get through a crowd and somebody's in your way. And, but they're not just in your way, they're in your way on purpose, and every time you go to a, go around them, they just move back into your way. And when you are awake, that's what it's like with your ego. You, you see that this thing is just in your way. It cannot exist while you're awake. I mean... Let's don't get it twisted. Anything is possible. You can, in fact, be awake and have an ego. But like walking through the crowd, you'll see that this thing is just in your way and you, you just want to get around it. And if you have the courage enough to face life, people, everyday events on your own terms and not the terms of your ego which is please me please me <laughs> <coughs> then you can get around your ego it just t you just have to want to be a participant in your life that's not to say that well I, you have to agree to participate in this broken system that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that when you when your body wakes up in the morning, you should also wake up with it. When you're out in the bout in, out in the bout, <laughs> when you're out and about in public, you should be the one at the wheel, not not some ego, not some uh, persona that somebody else handed you, but you. Because also, what people don't seem to realize is. The ego can also act as a controlling mechanism for others. Because someone, and it happens a lot, someone will find, uh, eventually notice that you're putting on airs. And that, that's what the ego is. That's what the ego does. And if you expect them to be complicit in your deception, they will demand a certain amount of control of that ego. That means control of you. And this is just one of the many ways the ego will and can destroy your life. One of the benefits to being awake is no ego, no control mechanism. The ego is spawned from the fear of participation in the first place. What if I'm not good enough? You just... For all intents and purposes, you just you need to get to a level of fuck it. <laughs> Whose opinion is that important that you need to put on airs or develop an ego or a false persona? 
whose whose adoration is just that important that these people just have to like me why why they are no better than you if you perceive them as being better than you or more fun to be around than yourself that's because you've fallen for their ego and if you get to know someone well enough one day while drinking or just hanging out they'll drop their guard their ego and let the real them out and you'll see they're a completely different person than their ego and you'll find you like the person they showed you in their moment of weakness better than their ego but you spent all this time trying to impress these people developed an ego similar to theirs started doing things you thought you'd never do just to hang out with these people just to come to find out that they're really not those people after all and you like the real them better and you could have just been yourself hmm. it's sad really <laughs> People that are awake value themselves. It, it is my opinion. I'll say it again. It is my opinion. This is not a fact. It is my personal opinion. I would rather feel miserable about being myself than feel good about carrying an ego around and putting that out as myself. Because there's a fair amount more honesty in being miserable about who you are than feeling good about this false ego because if you feel miserable about who you are you just might take the time to fix whatever's broken but if you're hiding behind the ego the ego doesn't want you to fix what's broken then you don't need the ego anymore <laughs> there goes the control mechanism for whoever's in control of that they're not going to want you to get rid of that so they're going to they're going to feed it any way they can so that it can overpower you so that it's more important to be li well liked than it is to be well <laughs> and this is just immediate sphere when you awake you start noticing that the, the spheres are not only much bigger but there's more than one you have your immediate sphere you have your secondary sphere, tertiary sphere, and then as the further out it goes, it starts touching people you've never met before. You start seeing things differently. You start seeing there's a whole world out there that you weren't paying attention to. You were so focused on how these people felt about you that you adopted their views, their beliefs, and now you're starting to see that, wow, maybe I don't think that way. Maybe I don't believe what I thought I believed a minute ago or perhaps you still believe it but in a different way that makes it actually something that came from you an original thought perhaps <gasps> gasp <laughs> I don't know it is true we are not all given the same tools but it is also true that our where we begin our journey it completely de depends on our initial environment who your parents are the kind of family you grew up with the the neighborhood you grew up in these are the kinds of things that chop your legs from under you or give you a head start all of these things can be overcome i've seen people with a huge head start trip themselves up and head in a completely wrong direction I've seen people with a shitty head, shitty start legs cut from under them not only did they get back on their feet but they're winning the race <laughs> if such a thing is even possible it's not that kind of race but you, you get the idea they're doing good for themselves and in a good manner so these things play a part but they don't control the overall outcome unless you let them if you let somebody tell you who you are they're handing you a persona or an ego and if you agree with that if you agree oh you're right I'll never get this far 
I'll never get further than I'll never get as far I'll, ne <laughs> I'll never get any further than I am right now and that's what you're doing when you accept this persona of failure loser uh, never gonna make it underachiever any of these you'll never get any further than that persona that was handed to you until one day you wake up and realize wow I've wasted all this time when I could have been where Huh. Well, if you haven't realized it yet, realize it now. And I'm not telling you, you got to turn into me. I'm telling you, you got to turn into you. People are becoming, if you haven't realized it, if you haven't noticed, people are becoming more of who they really are. And it's not jiving well with the ego. And so these people think they're going crazy and they act like they're going crazy. But what's going on is, subconsciously, they're battling their ego. Consciously, they can't figure out what's going on. They know. They know. What's going on? What's going on? You're trying to maintain a false self while the self is trying to wake up without your help. And so these two opposite forces clash. They're fighting for dominance. You're not going crazy. You're just waking up. Wake up. You'll start seeing that there's much, much more to this. There's more to life than spending most of your day trying to pay for your existence. There's more to life than just trying to spend the day trying to come up with different ways to end up with more than you need to pay for your existence. And the more you wake up, the more you realize that there's more to life than that. And you start seeing that, wow, I could have been doing something else with my life. Because if there's one thing I've noticed, and you may not have the funnest time or the easiest time getting into it, but there's not one thing that you can do on this earth that somebody somewhere won't pay you for. So you could have been doing something you loved, but instead you're doing that. And like I said, it could take years before you find someone willing to pay you for it. But you'll find someone willing to pay you for it. Oh, you do what? You make horseshoes? Well, I don't have horses, but I, I have all this equipment and I need someone to use it because I don't know how to use it. And you could teach me how to use it while you make horseshoes and then we could make whatever we want to make or whatever. You know, it ain't got to be horseshoes. I'm just coming up with it for instance. Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it's, uh, it's one of the most important things you'll ever do, waking up, waking up to what's out there, raising your level of awareness, seeing there's more going on in the world than rent, more going on in the world than the drama between you and your neighbors, you and your friends. That's all they want you focusing on. But there's more to life than those things. Don't, don't, don't get home and I, I don't want to hook up with you in a couple of months or whenever. I don't want to talk about your favorite TV show. I don't watch TV. Literally, I don't watch television. The TV is a computer monitor and, uh, a viewport for my gaming consoles. I don't watch television. So I don't want to hear about your favorite TV shows. I don't want to hear about the drama between you and your friends or you and your neighbors or who and you and whoever. I want to hear about how you're doing. How you are doing. Not how you were doing according to him, her, them, their, whatever. How are you doing? I want to get to know the person at the very very core and if you don't know how to get to that person I can teach it to you I can show you how to do that matter of fact it's in one of my videos one or two of my videos that I've already posted so if this is your first video I suggest you go back and watch them all like I keep saying my videos are not monetized you don't help me at all by watching these videos other than I get a little giggle every time I see my number go up. Somebody watch the video. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>
<laughs> I get no money, no advertising dollars, nothing. So if this is your first video, go back and watch them all. I can guarantee you that it's it's kind of funny because <laughs> as I'm making the videos, I get better at making the videos, and you'll you'll see in the editing and everything that it just gets better as I keep going, and I get more relaxed in doing it. But yeah, <sighs> raising your level of awareness. Noticing the part you play in the big picture, that even your tiny little actions have an effect in the grand scheme of things. They don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know how powerful your decisions are. They don't want you to know that. They just want you to buy their stuff. They don't want you to know. They don't want you to see that most of what is wrong with this world is wrong because of the people in charge. They don't want you to see that. That's why they're always pointing the finger. No, no, it's them. No, it's you. I cannot call a people bad guy when they're doing what they have to do to survive. They're called terrorists. But they they use whatever means necessary to fight a war that if fought outright head to head they'd lose. Because they just don't have the the army. They don't have the military power to fight that type of war. So they use different tactics and we call them terrorists. And all they're trying to do is get us off of their land. But it's easy to make us hate them because they're a different skin, different language, different tactics, different policies, different beliefs. And so they spend most of the time attacking what these people believe. Look how they treat their women. <laughs> I live in America. I've lived here for 30 years. I'm 40 years old. I've spent 10 years overseas. But I've been in this country for 30 years. And we don't treat our women any better. <laughs> Remember women's lib? <laughs> Remember how we still don't treat women equally? And a lot of women still get physically, mentally, emotionally, and sexually abused? Yeah, we don't treat our women any better. We just speak English and live over here. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up to see these different things for what they are. Our beliefs as a, as a nation don't make us better. Our actions do, and our actions do not coincide with our beliefs. Our beliefs are part of the facade that we put out with our ego. I'm perfect. Huh. No, no, you're not perfect. Your ego looks like it. I mean, that is that is impeccable. That is awesome. Very good job on your ego. But I know, and you know, that when you go home and you close the door and you draw the blinds, you are just as fallible as I am. I'm just not ashamed to admit it. Because when you're not ashamed to admit it, there's no ego out there. And if there's no ego out there and you find yourself being fallible, you can correct the problem. The ego won't let you correct. Oh, don't worry about that. They can't see past me. That's what the ego says. They can't see past me. Go ahead. Oh, you stepped in shit? Oh, they can't see it. The ego is infallible. I'm good. You're good. Go back to sleep. Don't mind the smell. <laughs> and that used to be me. I can think back. Early 20s. When I finally started waking up. Not to say that's when I finally said, fuck the ego. That's when I started waking up. And you start to see that, wow, I am, I, I am not me when I'm around certain people. 
How, how is that? There was very few people that I was actually myself around. But my favorite people were the ones that empowered my ego. Huh. How about that? Would that be me talking or would that be my ego saying, hey, hang out with those guys. They know how to party. Or maybe it's hang out with those guys. They think you're really cool because of me. <laughs> it didn't really care for the people I hung out with that didn't really give a shit about my ego and just like hanging out with me. I liked those people. My ego didn't like them so much. A few choices if I could have to do over. My ego wouldn't have lasted past my 15th year on this planet. And that's not to say that's when I noticed it. That would be to say that's when I finally got rid of it. I would be a so I would be a much different person right now. I would have made different choices because it wouldn't have been my ego trying to stuff itself with goodness. It would have been me trying to find out what I like and do what I want to do. I got an image to uphold. That image damn near ruined my life. Anything that's going to ruin your life isn't something you want to maintain. Nothing. No bad relationship that could ruin your life. No chemical or substance that could ruin your life. No way of life that could ruin your life. Certainly not the ego. But it's helpful. It got me the job I wanted. It's not helpful because they didn't hire you. They hired your ego. And the minute you decide, well, I've had this job for 15 months now. I'm just going to not wear my ego to work. And you know what everyone's going to say? Are you okay? You seem different. And then after a month or so of you being yourself and leaving your ego at home, it's going to be, you know, we're concerned about you. You, you haven't really been yourself lately. <laughs> and after a few months of that, you will either start wearing your ego to work again or you'll get fired. Because what they're really trying to say is, hey, that control mechanism you promised us isn't there anymore. <laughs> and then when you decide, wow, that's what it is, you'll be, you'll be left with one decision. And if you're awake and you have confidence, you'll let that job go. No matter what job it is, I don't care how much money you're making. How much is it worth to you to be yourself and get to be yourself? How much? Is it worth making a quarter less, a third less, half as much, or only making a quarter of your old salary, or maybe a third? Did that ever occur to you? Try it. Any one of you whose argument is, well, it, if it wasn't for my ego, I wouldn't have what I have. Try it. Try me out. Just hear me out. Humor me. For the next six months, leave your ego at home when you go to work and see how the people react to you. Some, it'll be a positive reaction. Wow, you seem more fill in the blank. Most of the people, it'll be a negative reaction. You don't seem yourself lately. Are you all right? That's like, that's their ego saying, I don't see your ego anywhere. And I don't care for you. Where is your ego? <laughs> uh, that's what's going on. Because you remember... They're asleep too, with their ego driving the ship. See, you're 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 viewing it as, yeah, I got to get rid of it. It's not just you; everybody's doing it. So when you show up without the ego, they're like, "Well, where's your buddy? 
I, I don't see him anywhere. You're being yourself. Oh, get that, get that away from me. <laughs> <coughs> How old was I? 20 years old. Quit doing drugs. Instantly, my ego was like, screw that. And he took off. <laughs> and I was left to fend for myself. <laughs> it left me. Huh? And everybody came over, and nobody wanted to hang out with me. My ego was gone. I was defenseless and bare. Nobody wanted to be around that. I was in the initial stages of recovery. And not just, I don't mean physical recovery because of the drugs. I mean emotional recovery, mental recovery. Nobody wanted to be around me. They wanted my ego because I'm not going to lie. My ego was plenty of fun. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why ego is hard to get rid of. Because they're fun. They're funner than you. That's the whole point. <laughs> That's why you made it. Because it's funner than you. It's more confident than you. It knows what to do. That's why it's so hard to get rid of. It, it goes from being a useful tool to a, to a deviant master. And it leaves me with the same question I asked you yesterday. Did it ever occur to you that you were really funny, confident, smart, witty, whatever, fill in the blank. Did you ever think that anything your ego can do, you can do it better? Because the ego can only do what you reflect through it. Granted, you're asleep doing it, and your ego is just telling you what it needs from you, but if you haven't experienced that thing that it needs, it's not going to get it. So it'll try and help you along to get that experience, even if it ends you up in jail. Because the ego doesn't give a shit. Because a thought form can jump off of you and land on somebody else. Thought form, once created, and once it's self-sustaining, doesn't need you anymore. So if it takes a wrong turn, oops, it can latch on to somebody else. Even if they already have an ego, then the two thought forms will fight it out. It is far more important to have a mature level of awareness than it is to be liked for being something you're not. It is far more important to be yourself. Don't sell yourself out or short. I don't care how cool you think someone is. I don't care how much fun you think it would, ha would be to hang out with a certain person. If you're willing to give up you to hang out with these people, you've already lost. Because the part of you that holds value is the part you're going to put to sleep so you can be accepted. Or the part you did put to sleep so you could be accepted. Because I'm assuming that we're all adults here, or young adults. Well, I'm 40. I don't know how old you are. I'm, I, I'm assuming that most of the people that are going to view this video are around my age group. Or somewhere within 10 years forward or back of that number. So you've already gone through the development of the ego. Now you need to go through the dispelling of the ego. Raise your level of awareness just a little bit. Who's trying to make you feel worthless? Because that person has a vested interest in you maintaining your ego. Because the ego has no value, one way or the other, and it knows it. It gets its value from you when you think you need it. It has value now. But see, a human soul 
A human being has value whether or not that human being is needed. See, that doesn't make any sense to someone that crunches numbers. A human being has value whether or not that human being is needed. An ego does not. So it gets its value from you. It gets its value from everybody around it that feeds into it. But don't forget, the other half of the deal is... If they are helping to support your ego, if they're being complicit into your uh, perpetration, <laughs> perpetuation of a falsehood, you have to be complicit in their perpetuation of their falsehood. That's that's the give and take of it. People, the first thing, instead of projecting onto you, some people don't even project on you what they want to see. They project onto you looking for your ego, your control mechanism, and when they don't find one, they instantly, well, you think you're better than me. And what did I tell you like two or three videos ago? What is the translation for, you think you're better than me? The translation for that is, I think you're better than me. It is a blow, it is a severe blow to somebody else's ego that you don't need one. That you're confident enough without one. That you don't need to put on false airs to fit in, feel like you belong, to be comfortable, confident, funny, witty. When they have this ego. That's several layers thick depending on how many friends and family are participating in the perpetuation of that falsehood. So when they come up against you, and you don't have an ego to damage, you are a threat. Because you could wake that person up and help them realize they don't need all that shit. When a person's ego comes in contact with a real person instead of another ego, the person inside that ego starts to wake up. And so the ego tells the person, well, that's a threat. Go back to sleep. I got this. <laughs> he thinks he's better than you. I'll show him. Go back to sleep. <laughs> and that's how that works. A little bit of confidence. Starts from there. Look back at every wonderful thing your ego has shown you that it's capable of doing. You are capable of those same feats and more. You are capable of connecting with the entire world around you, not just your immediate circles, your immediate secondary and tertiary circles. You're capable of doing more than watching your favorite shows. You are capable of being aware that life isn't what the TV says it is. That there is more to life than trying to find a way to pay for your existence. Or trying to find a way to have more than you need to pay for your existence. The ego doesn't want you to know that. Because the ego wouldn't be necessary once you're aware of these things. And don't look to industry to dispel your ego. Because they depend on your ego. Every purchase you make is about your ego. Only the cool kids buy Doritos. Well, I'm one of the cool kids. <laughs> They are all the ladies will love you in this car. Oh, really? I'm buying that car. <laughs> and so on and so forth. They rely on your ego as much as your ego relies on you. To be asleep and believe it's bullshit. Anyway. 
<clears throat> excuse me, we're getting on past the 30 minute mark. Very, very good video. Again, uh, I would extend this further, but I'd just be beating a dead horse, so there will be no part three. Just two parts. And I hope you get the general idea of what I'm trying to say. Being aware, there's so much benefit to being aware. Why would you want to walk around asleep just because you're well liked? That's just, to me, that's, I can't fathom. Can't fathom it at all. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you have liked this video, enjoyed it in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button. Uh, you can favorite it if you want. Uh, please leave the comments down in the comments down below because this is supposed to be a discussion. I want to know how you feel, what you think about it, if you think I'm full of shit, whatever. Uh, I want a discussion. That's, that's what I want this to become. I want it to evolve into a meaningful discussion. Or you can leave a video response, which would be even better, because then I can comment on your video. Either way, this isn't about ego. <laughs> no pun intended. This is about a discussion. This is about people learning and sharing ideas. So, if you would like to keep coming back and getting more information, please click the subscribe button. I forgot to mention the part about just liking the sound of my voice. <laughs> But there it is. But, uh, yeah. Until next time, you hang in there.